Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Hope you're all doing well. Do you remember what we talked about yesterday? We were talking about taking two short sentences and connecting them together to make one longer sentence using the word and. Um, we're gonna practice that again yet today just to make sure that we are really um, good at making those longer sentences because it can be tricky. Um, so let's take a look at our objective. It says, we will make sentences with the conjunction. You remember that word that we're using to connect? That's right, it's and. And to describe healthy choices using a read aloud book. So we're gonna listen to a story today. Um, it's gonna be talking about making healthy choices. And then we are going to practice taking two shorter sentences and connecting them together to make a longer sentence. That sounds a little bit more like moving into second grade. Okay, all right, so let's see here. Let's practice that objective one more time. We will make sentences with the conjunction and to describe healthy choices. And we're going to use a read aloud book, okay? We will be practicing speaking. We will be practicing writing. So if you have it, you can take out your pencil and paper and have them ready for our sentences. Okay, so I'm going to pull up our read aloud book. The book that we are reading today is called Healthy Me. Okay, and there are many different things that we can do to stay healthy every day. So here are some ideas in this story. I want you to think about some things that you might do to keep yourself healthy. Okay, so take a, th take a minute to think about it. Ms. Macadilla is thinking about some things that I do to stay healthy. I try to get outside and take a walk, okay, to get some exercise. What else do I do? I try to, just like this girl in the picture, I try to brush my teeth two times a day. Okay, there are many other things that we can do and we will learn about them in this book. Okay, healthy me, healthy me. What do you see on the cover page? The girl is washing her hands. That's an especially important thing that we should be doing often now since we are um, worried about getting sick, okay. I like being healthy. When I am healthy, I feel good. I am in a better mood and I have more energy. Everyone needs to stay healthy. Okay. I like to be active and move my body. I run, swim, and ride my bike. I take walks with my big brother, Bill, and our dog, Wilbur. There's Wilbur. Think about some ways that you move your body. Do you like to do the same things as the girl in our story? Do you like to run? Do you like to swim? Do you like to ride a bike? I like to do those things. I like to play sports. Soccer is my favorite game. I also take hikes in the woods with my family. Okay, these are more ways that the girl stays healthy by moving her body, by being active. I like television. 
but I don't watch it for hours. I like computer games, but I don't play them for hours. Everyone needs to get up and move around. Eating well gives me energy. If I skip breakfast, I don't think very well. Everyone needs to eat a good breakfast. Okay, what do you notice? What does she think a good breakfast is? She has, it looks like some cereal and a banana. She's drinking a glass of milk. I eat a good lunch at school. Peanut butter and jelly is my favorite sandwich. I drink lots of milk and water. My favorite food is noodles. I also like other healthy foods such as apples. Everyone needs to eat healthy food. So far, the girl has talked about two ways that she likes to stay healthy. She likes to move her body and she likes to eat healthy foods. I want you to think of something you like to eat that's healthy, something that's good for your body. One thing that I like to eat that's healthy is I like to eat carrots. I want you to tell someone in your house what is something you like to eat that is healthy. So I wouldn't say cookies or cake or um, let's see, Takis are not healthy for our body. So think about a fruit or a vegetable or something else that you like that's healthy. I get plenty of rest. I go to bed earlier on school days, and I get up earlier on school days. My dad says I need 11 to 12 hours of sleep each day because I am growing. I keep my body clean to stay healthy. I wash my hands before eating and after going to the restroom. Washing keeps germs from getting into my body. Okay, we learned two more ways that the girl stays healthy. By getting enough rest and by keeping her body clean, washing her hands. Let's see what else she can do to keep her body clean. I brush my teeth three times a day. Brushing kills germs that cause cavities. I also take baths and showers. Everyone needs to wash to stay healthy. I have many kinds of feelings. Some are happy and some are sad. Laughing makes me feel better. When I have sad feelings, I feel better when I talk about them with Bill, Mom, or Dad. Sometimes I like quiet time. When I do, I watch my tropical fish. I imagine that I'm floating through water. Everyone needs quiet time. The end. We learned many ways that we can keep our bodies healthy. Can you think of one way that the girl stayed healthy? And use the sentence frame she stays healthy by blank. Tell somebody, tell someone that's close to you how the girl stayed healthy. Let me give you an example. She stayed healthy by talking about her feelings with her family. Now you take a turn. I would love to hear your answers. How does she stay healthy? All right. Let's take a look at what we're going to be doing um, to make some sentences. We said that our objective today is to take two short sentences 
and join them together to make one longer, almost second grade sentence, okay? We're going to use the conjunction and to join the sentences together. Let's see. Let's take a look at our sheet. This is where you will need your pencil and your paper so that you can practice writing a sentence of your own. So this says making compound sentences. A compound sentence is a sentence that has two parts, okay, that are joined together. So let's take a look. In the book, we learned that the girl likes to move her body. And here I've put two sentences about that. What does she do? Over here, it says, I take walks with my brother. And we can see that in the picture. Over on this side, it says, I take walks with my, tap that word out if you don't know, dog, dog. I take walks with my dog. We have two little sentences here, but now we're gonna practice putting them together. Okay, so they're both starting the same way. I take walks. So I'm gonna come down here to my line and on your paper, you're going to write, I take walks. And here's where we have to take the first part from our first sentence. Let's see. She takes walks with my brother. Okay. That's where the first sentence ends, but instead of putting a period, I'm going to write and to join another sentence. I take walks with my brother and now I don't have to write, hmm, let me see this, one sec. Yep, I want this. I don't want to write, I take walks again. Okay, because we already said that. And we know these two sentences are similar. They have some parts that are the same. So we don't have to say them over again. So I can cross off, I take walks, and then I can put with my dog. So let me add that. And let's see what our new sentence says, our compound sentence, and make sure that it sounds correct and that it makes sense. Okay, Ooh. let's try it. I take walks with my brother and with my dog. I think that sounds pretty good. I could take out the second with and I don't think I need that. I could say, I take walks with my brother and my dog. There. I took two parts of the sentence and I joined them together with the conjunction and. So I'm gonna highlight that. On your paper, once you have written the sentence, go ahead and circle and. Okay, so you can make sure that you have that there. Very good. Now let's take a look at another example. We're going to do one more together, and then you are going to try the last two all by yourself. So I'm not going to write the answer um, on the video. You're going to try it, and then you can send to me what you've written. Okay, here's a picture of the girl from the book. It says on this side, I like to watch TV. On this side, it says, I like to play computer games. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join those together. Think about how we could make both of those sentences into one. Start on this side and you're going to write the same thing. I like to watch TV. Now, tell me how you would end the sentence by adding something from here. I like to watch TV and I'm gonna write it here. I like to watch TV and now look at this sentence. I don't have to write I like to again because we've already written that in the first part of our sentence. I like to. Okay. Let me see if I can end my sentence with what's left here. I like to watch TV and play computer games. Let's see if it makes sense. I like to watch TV and play computer games. What do you think? Does that make sense? Yeah, great job. Make sure you have an uppercase I at the beginning. Make sure you've ended your sentence with a period. When you've done that, take your pencil and circle our conjunction and, because that's how we've connected the sentences together. Awesome job. Let's do two more. These ones you're gonna try all by yourself, okay? So let's take a look. Here's our picture, the girl is eating, so I know these sentences are probably going to talk about food. On this side, it says, everyone needs to eat a good breakfast. You try it. Great job, let's read it again together. Everyone needs to eat a good breakfast. Now come over to this side. I see the same word at the beginning. Everyone needs to eat healthy foods. Okay, let's try it one more time. Everyone needs to eat healthy foods. Now I want to see if you can make a sentence that brings them both together. Remember, you start you write the first sentence basically exactly how it is. So this part you can copy and write it over again. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Okay, so you're writing this on your paper. Everyone needs to eat a good breakfast and what could you take from this sentence to connect them together? Remember, parts you can cross out. We don't need to say the same thing over again. Okay, take a few more seconds to finish writing your sentence. Great job. Now we're going to do one last sentence. This one all by yourself too. This one's kind of easy peasy, okay? Look, we learned that the girl can stay healthy by keeping her body clean. On this side, it says, I take baths. On this side, it says, I take showers. How can you put those together? Write this sentence just exactly how it is. Keep it the same. I take baths and what could you take from here? Remember, we cross out what's the same. We don't have to have the same words over again from both sentences. Okay. Take a moment and write your sentence. Make sure you have an uppercase letter and you end with your period. 
and we're going to stop there. If you have um, Miss Macadia's WhatsApp, mom or dad can take a picture of your sentence and send it to me. And I would love to see it. I've already had lots of friends share. Um, if you are on Class Dojo, mom or dad can take a picture and send to me on Class Dojo too. Whatever is easier for them. All right. Thank you so much, friends. I will see you tomorrow, and we're going to be doing Word Wednesday. So I hope you have a great night. And see you soon. Bye-bye.